Hello, Market Club members everywhere. Adam Hewison here coming to you from the digital studios of Market Club. Well, it's the April Fool's Day, the 1st of April. We've had an incredible quarter just go by, a history-making quarter, one would say. It's the biggest rally in history for a first quarter. I want to start off talking about the future and the future Tesla. Tesla came out yesterday evening with the announcement of their Model 3 car. This is an exciting new car that's affordable. Uh, if you call $35,000 affordable for a car. Elon was rolled this out to a lot of uh, excited, avid fans, I would say, of Tesla. And what they're looking for is this model to be finished, ready to go, at the end of 2017. Now, that's a long way away. Whether they're going to make that deadline remains to be seen. However, looking at the stock, we had a buy signal today. You see when the monthly buy signal kicked in right here at 239.88. It's around 234 right now so you can actually get it at a better price but nonetheless this level right here the 240 area that we're outlining right now is definitely definitely a resistance zone for this market you can see how it's basically touched up here a couple of times and it really hasn't gotten over there so I would say if you want to be a little more conservative is wait for a close over 240 and then you have a, an opportunity that this market is going to go. Certainly, I think we're to the 280 level at that point in time and possibly even higher. Uh, if you were to measure, let's say, from the uh, 150 level right here up to the 240 level, that's 90. So add 90 to this point here. To, so 240 plus 90 gives you 330. So that would be our upside target level, our target zone, I should say, if we go over this level here. That's the 240 area. So watch that very carefully. But very exciting things going on. But the problem they're going to have right now, if gasoline stays cheap, it's going to be hard to make this sell. That's the, that's the thing. That's why Ford's doing so well with their big trucks and so forth. But having said that, we're going to be looking at crude oil today and look because we had a sell signal there yesterday and we'll be following that market as well. So let's move on. Okay, this is the crude oil market. You can see basically we're down. There was a signal there yesterday, 37.71. We're currently 36.95, so we have some change in that one already. We've fallen below the 50 line, and not a good sign. And if we get this closer in, we'll scope it into three months and put a candlestick chart on and our daily the daily got us out right here at 4041 because we were long remember we got here at 40 30 and we got out at 41 40 41 so we made basically scratched on the trade but we avoided this drop and that's what the dailies do when you're trading commodities you want to use the weekly for trend right here and the daily for timing now again you have the monthly here which is negative and I think it's causing some problem for this market as well so let's see how that plays out. So let's go on to our next market. Next market we're looking at is gold and here's what we think can happen to gold. I want to scope this out just a little bit further and that is we'll get this out too. Let's scope this out so we see the lows. There are the lows. Let's take the triangles off because they're actually negative. Longer term positive for gold but sh intermediate and short term definitely not positive. So what I'm going to do is measure from the highs with the Fibonacci tools. We talked about this before. Scope it down to the lows right here and potentially we could see this market go to 1141 which is a pullback obviously of Fibonacci proportions and even 1160 1170 could be in the cards we've dipped below the 50 line not a good sign I would not want to be long gold at the moment I think uh, if you're an intermediate term trader don't be long if you're a long term trader then look at the monthly trade triangles because they are still positive but generally speaking look for more weakness in this market what potentially could be seen here is some sort of a head and shoulders top this is what we were drawing before so here's the and we draw that like that if we go below this low right here that's going to accentuate this and certainly take it down to the 1140 area 1150 area in our opinion so let's see how that plays out okay we're looking at the Dow uh, for the week the Dow is higher but however it's still early in the day we could actually see this market close down for the day it's very very interesting what's going on in this market one area that you want to be looking at in the Dow in April is this level right here I'll tell you what it is you want to be looking at 17,790 okay a little scrolly word but that's uh, that's about that so I would round that out to maybe 91 92 but certainly that's that's the level that our monthly trade triangle this one right here would turn green and indicate that all trends are going high we do have a little bit of a divergence here you see that right here we've been going higher and we've been flattening out on this side. So watch this very, very carefully as well, because I think that could be a, a real potential sign. But generally speaking, the markets, I think, fooled a lot of people. Uh, we got 
out of our short positions based on our weekly trade triangle and very well much much lower in fact let me show you where we got out click this in you can see there's the weekly some time ago at 16 510 a lot higher 1020 points higher so let's see how that plays out but generally speaking that's the number you want to look at 17,790.11 if it goes over there you want to be in the market if you like to be long in this market. Similar picture with the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is sort of, this is the Janet Yellen effect. We had a big bounce, but uh, again, this is still early in the day. We could see this market do anything, and particularly as people have to take these positions home for the weekend. It's a, it's a plus 70 if we put our, all our trade triangles on. You can see the monthly is still down right here, and that would turn green if we see this market move over 4,899.4. Okay, so that would turn green. So I would call this just let's rule this out. Let's just call this 4,900. If it goes over that level, then you want to be long the market because all of our indicators would be green. Not enthusiastic about the market. But I think we are pretty close to a cyclic high period right now, so I wouldn't be enthusiastic about buying the market. So let's see how that plays out. Okay, the last market for the day is the S&P 500. Barely changed for the day. You can see that we're actually point. 0.2% change. So nothing going on there. This could end up lower for the day. It's very difficult to tell. But again, the monthly trade triangle is negative on here. And that's going to be changing if and when we move over this level, 2073. Okay, that's the number, 2073. If we move over that line, then the all the indicators right here, this would go to green and they would all be positive. I am not enthusiastic about following this be simply because I think we're at a cyclic high, but I wouldn't want to fade it either. So let's see how that plays out. Next week, this month should be a very interesting month. Let's be on our toes and let's catch some moves and uh, be sure to watch the gold market. If it goes below those levels I just showed you today, I think we'd see some pullback there and also in the crude oil. Monday's another day, so have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back on Monday.